Okay. Hi, I'm Professor Judith Habick Mosh from the University of California, Santa Cruz. Uh, I'm in the anthropology department. I am a Southwest archaeologist and I study uh, Southwestern uh, pottery. And I'm here to sample some of the lead ore, particularly the galena and the cerocyte, uh, from the museum collections so that I can do lead isotope uh, analysis. And we use lead isotopes uh, as a way to source uh, the lead to find out where the ore uh, is coming from. Uh, in this case, I know where the ore is, is from because there's labels on it. And I know what mine is from and what districts it's from, but I can get the lead isotope fingerprint or uh, isotope, isotopic signature ratios of the lead isotopes uh, that, that then I can use as a match uh, to a lead that was used in um, paints or pigments, uh, glaze pigments, uh, on pottery from the American Southwest. Glaze painted pottery was made in the American Southwest from about 1275 uh, to the middle of the 1400s in the western part of the Pueblo area in Arizona and in the eastern uh, part uh, of the Southwest in the Rio Grande Valley, it was produced from about AD 1300 up until 1700 in the historic period. And the Pueblo Indians stopped making glazed painted pottery at the time of the Pueblo uh, Revolt. Uh, and so what we've been able to do is use lead isotope analysis to source where the Pueblo people were getting the lead to make the pigments to make the paints uh, on this glazed painted pottery. Uh, and that has told us many interesting things about how people were interacting with one another um, uh, and uh, about broader uh, interaction networks and in some ways also about uh, possibly how this technology uh, was moving. Uh, we know that it was started in Arizona, in the Upper Little Colorado, in the Mogollon Rim, uh, and also in the Zuni area, and then spread to the Rio Grande. And so by looking at peop how people access different kinds of lead resources and how they processed uh, those resources to make paints and mixed it with other materials like copper and manganese uh, in the different ratios that they used. Uh, we can actually see specific uh, paint recipes and we can see how those specific paint recipes move from one area to another and our assumption is that those paint recipes move with particular groups of people and so we can see people sort of moving from uh, the western Pueblo area into the eastern Pueblo area by tracing this technology uh, transfer. Uh, so that's what most of my research is about.